everything that you do that's visual is a story, whether it has words that go with it or not. So when you're creating that illustration, you're telling a story. When you're laying down that color, you're telling a story. And when you finally put those graphic elements, the type, into this illustration, you're telling a story. So it's all storytelling. I used to tell stories to my parents, and they were about different things that I would see in the yard, like ants and bees and even one of the characters in one of my stories was a dog that we had, Mitzi. And so Mitzi was a German shepherd that wore a great big poofy pink hat and an ant was named Custard Pie. And then I also had a storytelling friend called Beasley and of course he had to be a bee, right? And so um, that's how I started when I was very small. And as I got older, and got more into writing and stuff like that. I started writing stories when I was in junior high school. That's how I got started. Well, let's start with Mobe. Mobe is actually Montego Bay in Jamaica. And the reason why I use Montego Bay it's because I've been there twice and I just love the spot. It's not like any other Caribbean island that you could think of. And so I've used Mo Bay as a setting. It's a fictional time. Who knows when it is? It could have been past or future. creature that is neither alive nor dead and the reason why he's a duppy is because he's mean and he's not sharing and caring so he's a duppy and this duppy happens to live at the bottom of the sea up on the internet for download, so stay tuned.